The Mata Community Center in Montrose recently underwent an asbestos abatement, but lost its historic centerpiece mural in the process. It was a mural that told the story of Montrose's heritage. Our Dylan Malfatti brings you the full story as KREX continues to honor Hispanic heritage in Western Colorado. Hispanic Heritage Month is brought to you by Casa Bella Flooring. Mata is 50 years old, so you know a lot has changed. The Mexican American Development Association, or Mata, located in Montrose's Tortilla Flats neighborhood, is a haven for Mexican Americans on the Western Slope. It's self named because they used to have the smell of tortillas cooking in the neighborhood. Mata hosts birthday parties, community gatherings, and cooking classes. They also provide emergency assistance for community members in need. But a major health risk, asbestos, halted community events when they renovated the building. The community really desired to have their community space back. And so um, that really became a priority for us to get the building back in a working order. But during the remodel, a mural that meant a great deal to the Mata community was lost. Luckily, one community member, Darlene Mora, knew Juan Espinosa, the original muralist, and went to Mata administration with a brilliant idea. What if we hire him to come and redo uh, the mural or make a new one? So muralist Juan Espinosa made the trip from Pueblo, Colorado to his hometown in Montrose to recreate the March of Memories mural he first painted 50 years ago, but this time on canvas. When I found out that the whole wall had come down because of an asbestos removal project, then that's when Darlene and I started talking about the idea of repainting it. The new and old murals have some key similarities, like the central figure Ricardo Falcone, who was murdered the year Espinosa painted the original mural. He was a founder of the United Mexican American Students Organization in Boulder and uh, was killed in a, in a gas station over an argument over water to cool an overheated engine. The mural also depicts local mestizo history. The rocks, or mojones, sheep herders once stacked in area pastures, Ute Chief Calero, the last to fight against removal from the Uncompagre, the old Marada Chapel, and a flag with a thunderbird representing the farm workers of America. You know, this mural was kind of out of the blue and, and, and unexpected, and, and I was really happy to do it, and I'm glad with the, how it came out. This beautiful piece of art and history may have been lost forever if Juan Espinosa hadn't picked up his paintbrush a second time. First on the Western Slope, I'm Dylan Malfotti, KREX 5 News. Get this, Juan told us when they called him, he had not picked up a paintbrush in 30 years. He also said, quote, I feel the painting was well received by the community and it gives me great pride to have it repainted for Montrose, my hometown.